political poem. If those mowers were each to stop at the whim, say, of a greedy thought, and then the one off to the left were to let his arm float up, stirring the air with that wide, slow, underwater gesture, meaning hello and you there, aimed at the one more than a mile away to the right. And if he, in his work, were to pause, catching that call by sheer wish, and send back his own slow, one-armed dance, meaning yes and here, as if threaded to a single long nerve before remembering his tool and shearing another message into the earth, letting who can say how long graze past until another thought or just the need to know might make him stop and look up again at the other, raising his arm as if to say something like still and oh, and then to catch the flicker of joy rise up along those other legs and flare into another bright yes that sways a moment in the darkening air. Their work would carry them into the better part of evening, each mowing ahead and doubling back, then looking up to catch sight of his echo, sought and held in that instant of common understanding. The God and speed of it coming out only after both have turned back to face the sea of yet and slow. If they could, and if what glimmered like a fish were to dart back and forth across that wide wordless distance, the day, though gone, would never know the ache of being done. If they thought to, or would, or even half wanted, their work, the humming human engines pushed across the grass, and the grass, blade after blade assenting, would take forever. But I love how long it would last. <laughs>